body to us as we worship him and as he fills us with word and sacrament. All right. All right. in the name of the Lord.
This year, as our year of prayer, we will concentrate on several prayers throughout the Bible. These are meant to represent prayers of God's people through the ages. Today, the prayers come from two figures out of one of Jesus' parables, a Pharisee and a tax collector. These two men could easily be stereotyped, positively and negatively. The Pharisee is an upstanding, godly person seeking to fulfill God's law. However, he often neglects those around him. The tax collector is a chief, the scoundrel, but he is a fellow Israelite simply doing his job. From the famous jazz piece played by Cannonball Adderley to an emotional response to something unexpected, we hear regularly of mercy. However, do we know what it means? Do we understand its impact? Do we appreciate the difference in our lives because of God's mercy? Having confessed our sins, having been reminded of our mortality, we come before God with a simple plea. Mercy. What is the meaning of mercy? Well, to oversimplify, mercy is not receiving what we deserve. It is in juxtaposition to grace, receiving that which we do not deserve. From the grace of God for the world, he extends mercy to his sinful creatures. And one of the attributes of God is mercy. And we note our need for it. But deliver us from evil, for thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink it, all of you. This is my blood, the New Testament shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.